conversation uh, checklist for us. These are very general checklists. So again, we're gonna go into very specific types of conversation, but this is a great general checklist for you in any conversation you may be having. These are things that you can change, um, maybe not in the moment, but you could always go back to a conversation and change them, or you might be able to change them in the moment. So the tone is something like, how am I entering the conversation? Am I scared? Has my child run into the street uh, without looking both ways? Has my child gone off to a party without permission, right? I might be scared. I might be engaging in the conversation with a louder voice. I might look like this. You know, I might be have my hands clenched and be very nervous or upset. Um, am I feeling angry at my child because maybe they aren't doing what they're meant to do and what they've been asked to do, right? So thinking about the tone. If your tone is not what you feel is appropriate, it's something you can go back and say, I'd like to have this conversation again, you know, before I was really nervous or scared or angry. And so I feel like I wasn't as um, engaged as I could have been, right? Um, it doesn't mean you can't get angry. It doesn't mean you have to always, uh, you know, be calm and counting to 10, although that's a lovely thing to do if you can, but it means that you're aware of how your tone might be affecting the conversation and if you maybe need to revisit. I know I've caught myself in, in conversations midway where I've said, you know what, I think I need a reset here. I think I'm I'm asking too many questions. I'm feeling nervous about this. For example, with my daughter uh, going off to college and she's got all these checklists to do and, and then the college emails us with things that I want her to you know, kind of take control and then I start to get nervous. Has she done these things? And so sometimes I just have to pause and say, I think I'm asking you too many questions. I think I'm a little bit nervous. Let's hit pause and start over. So that would be an example of changing tone midway. Um, setting, are you in an appropriate place for this conversation? So if you're picking your child up at school and you wanna start uh, peppering them with questions, it might not be the best setting for them. They might need some time to, to relax and um, kind of just take a beat, maybe even check their phone. So it might not be a great setting or it might be a great setting because maybe you wanna talk about something really intimate or sensitive and you don't wanna make eye contact or something like that. You've often heard probably that the car is a great place for those kinds of conversations. Um, are we in our home? Are we comfortable? Do we need to go for a walk? If we've had that conversation and we feel like the setting affected it, do we wanna revisit it in a new place? Maybe ask for our child's input. And then timing, just like the other two, something we can't always control if our child is running into the middle of the street or off to a party without permission. These are things that are time sensitive. Um, so we may need to have that conversation right now, right? Um, but if we can revisit it at a time when we're both calmer or when we both had time to think about it. So what that looks like is asking your child, you know, I want to have a, a conversation with you about your academics. Is this a good time to do it? Or um, I want to have a conversation with you about chores. Is this a good time to do it? And really help letting them be part of, of that. Um, and I'll give you an example of timing that can be, you know, kind of difficult where you may not think of it. But, you know, suppose you get an email um, about a play date or maybe from a teacher about a missing assignment, right? And you've been thinking about it all day. It's been in the back of your mind and it's sort of on your checklist. Like, I got to do this. I got to take care of it. Your child walks in the door from school and you're like, okay, can you tell me why this assignment was missing? Or can you tell me if you want to go on this play date, right? Um, your kid may not have been thinking about this at all during the day. So, um, you know, it, it might it might stump them. So you, again, asking them, is this a good time to talk about this can give them sort of a buffer to decide if this is a time where they can engage with you about it.